Hi, Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches here. As you all know, I've had a title company uh, uh, for over 30 some odd years, and I've been a lawyer for, for almost 35 years. So sometimes people ask me, what is the process for, for buying real estate in South Florida? Well, of course, you have to first of all decide uh, what you can afford. You have to decide what, how much cash you have for a down payment. You have to decide whether or not you're going to have financing and whether or not you're going to qualify for financing. But from a legal perspective, once in fact you identify those issues, you will submit an offer uh, via a realtor or on your own to the seller or to the seller's broker. And that offer will be in writing and it's a legal document, so you probably wanna have a lawyer or, or if you trust your realtor, which is great, uh, to have them prepare the offer for you. And that offer is signed and it has the amount, the dollar amount, it has uh, when you're gonna close and what the terms of the closing are gonna be. And then the seller has to either sign that contract and then you have a binding contract and you have a deposit that immediately goes hard uh, of course, you can get it back if you don't like, if you have a due diligence period and you decide you want to change your mind during that due diligence period, or if it's subject to financing and, and you can't get financing. But once you submit an offer, if in fact the uh, seller agrees to it, you have a binding contract. doesn't mean that your deposits are gone, but it means that you're going to have to put up some money. Typically what happens is when you put in an offer, the seller doesn't respond by executing the, the offer, but instead counter part, counter. Uh, counters the, the, the offer with a counter offer. And so now there's no contract. You have one offer with a counter offer. And unless the buyer then agrees to the counter offer, there is no contract. But if it signs, if the buyer signs that counter offer, then that counter offer becomes a contract. What sometimes happens is the seller will provide a counter offer and the buyer will then counter the seller's offer. And now you have a counter counter and you still don't have a contract until the seller then executes the counter counter offer. Now this can go back and forth about three, four times, but at some points it gets silly and you almost need to have a new contract at that point because it gets really messy and ugly with all the scratch outs and cross outs and whatnot. But you can, you know, that can go up two or three times. So once you have the contract, you then go into the due diligence period. You want to see if you like the home and do your inspections, make sure there's no mold, no problems, no, no this, no that. And if you then proceed, then the title company will begin the process of clearing title, making sure that you get good title. And of course, you have to make sure that you get your financing in place. So those are the basic steps to buying a home in South Florida. Roy Alphonite from The Trenches. Thank you.